Hey man. Seeing if anybody's around. What's up? Say hello. It's Joey T. I'm here in Green Bay. Wait to see if some people tune in. Hey, Andrew. What's up, buddy? Happy Memorial Day. So I'm hanging out here at Lambo on Memorial Day. I thought I would see if anybody wanted to tune in and say hello. Man, my phone was so bright. I couldn't get it. <laughs> man, I'm not very good with the technical aspect. Of, man, it's just crazy bright. So we're going to talk about some of the things in the pro shop. The new merch that's out. Come on by, say hello, tune in. Hey Eric, Eric Peterson. Yeah, it's 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 bizarre here, Eric. Uh, it's so youthful, you know. There's no, I know if I bring his name up, it's almost taboo sometimes. But there's no Rogers presence, you know. I mean, even when you go into the pro shop or walk around, I mean, it's just. It's a real, real youthful vibe in Green Bay right now. So, uh, I'm looking forward to it too, man. Hey, Raymond. Packer fan from Corpus Christi. Yeah, we got a lot of Packer fans. Crystal, how are you? Nice to see you. Hey, Becky. Big D, hit him straight, D, hit him straight. <laughs> How you doing, David? In love we trust. What's up, Raymond? Hello, Suzanne. Feel free to tell us where you're from. Sound and video is clear. Good, thank you. Hey, Jody. Best thing that ever happened to the Packers is that Raider, uh, Rogers is gone, says Judy. You know, this is the first time that I've gone live since the draft, so it's kind of cool to be here in Green Bay. A lot of people walking around, a lot of vacationers here in Green Bay. It's kind of weird when you're from Wisconsin that people come to Lambeau to, you know, hang out for five, six days in the off season, you know? Be one thing if it was during the season, but it's in the off season. We're going to have to get the sticks out, David. Eric, making the trip back home in September. Are you from Green Bay, Eric? Hey, Daryl. Kingsland, Texas. Yeah, Texas is loaded with Packer fans. I've always found that as interesting with Dallas. You know, it's like... How do you guys compete against Dallas fans out there, man? That's got to be really something. Especially if you're, you know, in Packer gear. You know, I got a Packer truck, and I'm from Kenosha, and everybody, I get more shout-outs from Bear fans than I do Packers. Swear to God. I get to Bears constantly. All right, man. Let's see. Anybody else out here? Janet from Florida. Hi, Janet. Oh, you're from Milwaukee? Yeah. You know what, Eric? There's actually more Packer fans in, in Milwaukee than Green Bay. I can't totally prove that, but I've been told that. And with our insights, we it shows that we have by a few thousand more Packer fans from Milwaukee. 
So that's not surprising that you're from there. Pretty cool. This is like in front of the Miller Light area. This is another entrance way on the north end of the building. This is where people come and chill and watch highlights and stuff like that. All right. So when you go into the pro shop, I find that a really interesting layout, the way they do it. It's like interesting, right? Right when you walk in, the first thing you see are affordable t-shirts. Austria, Daniel, wow. We could jump around a little bit, talk about merchandise, but I'm just gonna let you know about the new gear that's in the, in the pro shop right now. So, first thing I bought, might have to get a little tricky with this, is this. Just a very straightforward t-shirt, $26, pretty affordable. But you know what I like what I like about it? It's a black t-shirt. Very rarely do you see black t-shirts in the pro shop. So that caught my eye. And, you know, it's affordable. Straightforward, not too gaudy, black t-shirt. I picked it up 26 bucks. Loved it. The second thing I noticed and I grabbed right away was a hat bubbled you see that it it pronounces out that's kind of the new style in the pro shop is this bubbled look I don't know if some of you like it I like it I thought it was cool also what I noticed in the pro shop a lot of acronym usage on the gear this year. Everything's GB. A lot of Packers written out on the merch, but mostly GB is, is what you see a lot of. What's going on? Am I losing people? Hello from South Dakota. Hey, what's up, Tanner? This is Joey T. We're live on Die Hard Packer Fan. I was hoping some people would tune in. I did this kind of spontaneously starting to feel like football's coming back here in Green Bay and I was passing through so I said I'm going to the pro shop and seeing what they got for merch the next thing that I purchased uh, let's see what this costs it's actually my favorite thing <laughs> let me get my piece of paper out here Janet worked, lived in Milwaukee, worked at Kamatsu. Oh, wow. Okay, sure. Retired, moved to Florida. A lot of people do that. Tanner Willis. Tanner White, sorry, from South Dakota. Wow. South Dakota Packer fan, right on. Feel free to tell me where you're from. We got somebody from San Antonio. Hey, Eric. So, let me get this right. Give me a second. Okay, this is my favorite thing. I, I don't know about you guys, the men out there, but this is badass. Let me set this phone down for a second. Nighties. <laughs> Can you see him? You know what I like about them? They're the first pair I've seen that aren't green and gold. Everything's always green and gold. It's like, come on, man, let's let's see something different. Here, I'll put them on the ground. Maybe you'll be able to see them better. <laughs> These are my favorite, man. Oh. Can you see them? They got the little G on them right here in front for all the, the husbands out there. 
thing. See if you can see him. Better? <laughs> I don't know. These were $36. I just love them, man. It's like a lightish gray green with just the emblem on it. I think that's cool. I really do. You know, hey man, we gotta sleep every single night, so you can wear these every day. These are my favorite, Joey T favorite purchase right here for $36. I'm telling you, if your husband's a diehard, he'll love these. They're comfortable too. They're like super nice, you know, the material's good. Yeah, yeah, man. That's my favorite. That was my favorite purchase, if you can believe that. Let me see if anybody else is tuned in. Raul Gomez from Greeley, Colorado. I've never heard of Greeley, Colorado. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Raymond. The cheesehead started for the Brewers in baseball. Have you noticed that? That's crazy. Every time they hit a home run, they throw a cheesehead on a Brewer when he gets into the dugout, right? That's pretty cool. Yeah, right on, Raymond. Cool. Flint, Michigan. Hey, what's up, Patrick? Port Lavaca, Texas. What's up, Andrew? Tony John, hello from California. What part? Oklahoma. Hey, Anita. How are you? All right. I did something for the first time. I've never done this before. This is a first for Joey T in the pro shop. <laughs> Hold on. Van Ness, 129 bucks. I didn't get the on-field one. I can't believe I purchased a rookie's jersey before he ever even stepped on the field. I've never done that. I just don't do it. You have to kind of prove yourself with me. I don't know how you guys are with jerseys and, and that sort of thing, but I never, ever, ever purchase a jersey. But it was right there when you walk in. Real nice. I like what I'm seeing so far with the rookies. The dude's a beast. I freaking love Iowa defense. I really do. I know the kid didn't start and they got some weird quirky rule or something where he it's like a seniority thing in Iowa. That's why he didn't start or he didn't. Yeah, he didn't. I don't know if it was how much he played or whatever, but the dude is a beast. And I'm like, I'm buying a Van Ness jersey, man. Hell yeah. Plus the chicks he hangs out early fine. <laughs> You got two beautiful girlfriends or sister and a girlfriend. I don't know what the hell they are, but they're hot. All right. So that's $129 in the pro shop. Man, I'm looking forward to Van Ness. I kind of like that. You know, I know people get pissed off at Gudikins and all that, but the front office seemed pretty excited about this kid. And since he got here, he's a big dude. See his body, he's just like ripped to the gill. All right, I did buy one more thing. You know what else I was wanted to tell you? They got Lazard, who else? Ah, Lazard, who is the other one in there? On clearance? Does, do people actually buy that? <laughs> do people buy former players' jerseys? I would have never guessed the pro shop would put former players in there. Oh, Tanyan. Tanyans are in there, too. It just threw me off a little bit. Lazard. Raymond. Raymond says Lazard Cobb at the dollar store. 
So this was pretty cool. Hold on. Let me set this down. Now I'll put it right on top. I can never go to the pro shop without buying a hoodie. I like this hoodie. It's a light gray. I like the green hood inside. Really, really nice embroidery. Real clean. I like the, the patch. I wasn't sure about the sleeves, but I went with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, because I'm kind of a straightforward guy. I don't like too much stuff going on. But I, I love the hoodie. Let's see what this costs. I think this costs about 60 bucks. Hold on. Yeah, $64.95. That's Joey T's favorite hoodie. Right there, dude. I love it. So all in all, I bought one, two, three, four, five items, six items, sorry. And I spent 306 bucks. So if you're gonna shop, if you want, if you're one of those people that has to have the new gear, I kind of have to have a little bit of new gear when it first comes out too, because this is all brand new right now. You're gonna pay a little bit more, you know, depending on what you get. If you have children, the kids' lines are massive. I couldn't believe all kinds of animated, you know, cartoony type type things cross marketed with the Packers. So anybody who's looking for gear for your children is. That's kind of the, the route they took with that. Hey, man, what do you guys think of Jaden Reed? I like Jaden Reed. Yeah, I like him. I hate to always compare players to other players, but he is like, to me, the next Cobb and more, right? Jaden Reed. And I love the two tight ends we took, too, because that's going to fit into Lafleur system. I'm really excited about this year. I think it's going to be a great season. I don't think we're going to be shitty. Everybody thinks we're going to be shitty. Why? I got gear hanging out all over here. You guys are getting to see the flowers here at Lambo. They need to hire a new gardener. <laughs> No, just kidding. <laughs> uh, okay, anybody got anything to say? Hey, Keith Head, what's going on? Jaden Reed is fast. Yeah, no doubt about it. Let's take a walk. Oh, yeah, check this thing out, man. Now, this might look really weird to you, but I found it in an antique shop in here in Green Bay. It's, like, too cool. See it? Super Bowl 31. Look at that. Some dude took, the, took like some iron and bent it himself. No, it's not. Like to me, that's cool. You know what I mean? I like shit like that. Only in Wisconsin would you find this. This was a find to me. Super Bowl 31. Pretty cool, right? I thought it was. And it's kind of like scuffed up. And like, you know. Let me check out here. Like, I wasn't sure if I should repaint it. What would you do? Would you repaint that or leave it the way it is? That's going in my man cave, man. The new studio we got, we're putting together. Oop, I'm sticking my gut out a little bit. <laughs> hey, I've been eating good in the off season. 
Oh, man, how you guys doing, man? I'm always having a great time. I love seeing you guys. Thank you for being here. I don't care if there's a lot of people tuning in or just a few. It's just great to see you guys again. We'll be talking some pretty serious football coming here soon in the next month or two. Wasn't open when we came for the expo. Ah, oh, it's too bad. But we saw the players walking back and forth across the street. Right on. Joe Nelson, what's up? Big Joe. Go Vikings. We got a Viking fan on the thread. I think you've been around here before, David. Tina Wilson says, leave it. All right, let's take a little walk. Can we get a go pack go? Hell yeah, go pack, buddy. What up, Joseph? All right, I'm going to put some of this gear away real quick. But we can talk football while I'm putting the gear away. <laughs> you guys could talk amongst each other. I don't care. That's what it's for. Hello, how are you? Keith, is there, there, there's a, oh, the Atlanta game, yeah. Are you going to that one? Hold on. For those of you that wear sandals and clogs, oh my God, they have like every design possible for clogs and flip-flops. Also, it was kind of weird. I seen like this Aaron Andrews line. Not weird, but it's just, she did a deal with the NFL and she has her own clothing line out now in the pro shop. And it's real 80s, you know? It's like denim, like with the little ruffles around the shoulder, like cut off denim sleeves that for, for women. You know, in the, that's another thing. Speaking of, of the ladies out there, I think the pro shop is m more set up for women than men. I do, truly. I don't know if I'm gonna lose you guys. It's kind of bright. Josh Fallon, do you think the defense will be good? I think the defense was good last year. I don't know what the hell happened with the stopping the run. I was one of those that went to, you know, OTAs and I attended training camp and I was like, shit, this is the best defense I've seen in a long time. I, I, I guess I was wrong. I don't know, but how can we not be great? You know, we'll see how Stokes is feeling coming off of his injury. You know, of course, um, Rashawn, you know, you know, it's th those injuries. I, I often said that health, it's so hard to predict in the NFL because of health. You know, when you have these slight injuries and, and I, our defensive coordinator, I'm giving him a second chance. I know a lot of people aren't real high on him, but I'm giving him a second chance for sure. Because, man, this defense, I hope it lights it up. But the draft was for offense, that's for sure. I don't know. Maybe that helped you. Maybe it didn't. Simon, greetings from Germany. Been there Oh, a year and a half ago. Yeah, right on. Come on back, Simon. So I'm walking now towards my car. It's hard to read the sunlight here. It's about 75, 76 in Green Bay today. It's beautiful. Man, they have built so many new buildings here. It looks totally different here in the last five years. I can't believe it. Really, the last three years. 
there's uh, more hotels going up. It's going to be easier to get a room in Green Bay. That was needed. Let's see. Anybody else got any questions while I'm here? Oh, the video's still clear. That's good. Even while I'm outside? Right on. Tons of hats, too. My God. You know, I, I have to be keep it real, though. I didn't love everything in there. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of picky. <laughs> if something's gaudy, I'm not that cool with it. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Guys visiting Green Bay or are you from here? Uh, we're living here right now. We're missionaries, so. Oh, you are? Cool. Yeah. Just hanging out at Lambo. Yeah, sir. Right on. Have a great one. Should we say hi to Vince? Hey, Vince. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever read this. Five NFL championships in seven years. 758 winning percentage. That is impressive. Nine and one playoff mark. Never had a losing season in Green Bay. Wow. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. You guys hanging in there with me? Joe, Joe Akron is so freaking jealous right now. So here's the pro shop, this area here. This is where everybody comes. Everybody comes over here to take a picture in front of this thing. I must have watched a hundred people jump on this thing today. You guys see? I should have jumped on it. That's pretty cool. Oh, you guys can't see through the glass. Darn. I wish you could see through the glass. They won't let me go in there and film. <laughs> They're not real cool with that. Green Bay is the shrine of what football is really all about. Victory or loss. Alan Crow, man, that was cool. I like that, Alan. So the store hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Saturday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Sunday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. So if you're coming up here, it doesn't open until 9 o'clock. glass better a lot of stripes see the striping a lot of that in the new gear tons of women's purses if you're a purse lady oh my god they have so many purses are you a purse are you purse women all kinds of bags and purses I hope Jordan Love is good. <laughs> I can't go through, man. We just can't. He's got to be good. I think he's going to be good. I want to talk to Tom Clemens. Right? Just be like, hey, Tom, what do you think of this kid? 
Is he going to be good or not? Because he knows. He's the best quarterbacks coach in the NFL. One of the best of all times. Really. Go Seahawks. Get out of here. <laughs> hey, man, we kind of welcome everybody. We love everybody. So lot one is totally weird. For anybody who's used to coming here, it's a big, huge building now. Hey ladies, you wanna see the flowers at Lambo? Pretty cool, actually. A lot better than the ones up top. Man, this is great weather. Wow, so cool. Brandon says Jordan Love sucks. Oh no. Negative vibes. Not negative vibes. We don't want no negative vibes. We ain't here to. I had to put my shit away. Who's that one kid? Dontavian Wicks. He's kind of getting some positive feedback. Dontavian Wicks. See, I'm not good with the rookies. Fifth round kid out of Virginia, wide receiver. Man, Jordan Love's got some weapons, dude. Plenty of weapons, right? I mean, I know our receiving core is young, but he's got he's got good receivers. I'm, you know what I'm more curious about than anything? The way Lafleur coaches this team. We're finally gonna get to see who Matt Lafleur is. That's what excites me the most. I want to see how he coaches, cause I got in arguments with people. You know, I thought Rogers. How do you know if he's calling an audible or not? And and it, it's a different thing because Lafleur totally respected Aaron. He's got tons of years. You you can't beat what he the coach that he brings on the field, right? But now we get to see Lafleur actually coach a player. If that makes any sense at all, I'm excited about that. Hey, Sarah, how are you? When you guys come here and you go into the pro shop, it's kind of weird because it's like you see some stuff and you're like, wait, hey, wait, I saw that on social media. <laughs> like some of the designs in there, I know people that like made those designs and now they're in the pro shop. It's pretty, but that's social media, man. When you post things, people get ideas and they do it themselves. All right. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. We'll be doing some live broadcasts coming up here soon. I'll bring my brother with me to do a show up here too. Once they start allowing the public to be here too. That's another thing. All right. This is Joey T, man. I'm signing off on DHPF. Thanks for tuning in. All right. See you guys soon. Love you. Go pack. Peace.